Hey YouTubers, it's Arthur again from the Vault Pro Scooters and today we're going to be talking about HRC compression. HRC compression is one of the five compression systems out on the market right now and this video is pretty much going to help you out in terms of understanding how it works and what you need for it to work properly on your scooter. So um, this fork itself, Mad Gear fork, it comes with an HRC shim already. Most forks uh, don't come with HRC uh, shims, so you'll, you'll have to purchase that separately and usually the HIC shim comes with a uh, top cap and bolt, compression bolt, but this style is it's a lot different but it's still the same concept in terms of how it works. Um, normally on any other fork you'd either have a built-in uh, thread which you just thread in or you'll have a star nut hit into it um, and that what requires the five millimeter bolt. In this case, it's just the fork tube and this pretty much top cap that has built-in threads on it. Uh, like I said, it's still the same concept. So the way it works is this fork in particular doesn't have a built-in crown race. Uh, it's pretty much a flat, uh, flat bottom. It's, it doesn't have a taper to it. So we're going to definitely have to put on a crown race before we install it. Uh, we're going to grab our deck right here. and install our bearings. So we have an integrated headset right here with uh, integrated head tube. Sealed bearings are this, uh, with on standard head tubes are still the same concept. It's still the same style bearing. It's just not the integrated bearing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pop the bearing, the bottom bearing in first. We're going to have the bottom bearing with a taper going up, like pointed into the deck. So we're going to just pop it in there. Then we're going to do the same. Oh, sorry. We're going to do the same thing with the top bearing. The top bearing is just going to be pointed down with the taper going into the deck and the flat side on top. And then uh, the top race, which is already on that bearing, we're going to set it aside. And then the crown race, which is a much wider uh, race than the actual top race. So what we're going to go ahead and do is in some cases uh, the crown race doesn't have a slit in it and on some headsets that you purchase so you'll have to hit it in with uh, either oversized bars or something that actually can slide um, over the fork tube and actually properly uh, set that uh, crown race in. So in this video we're just going to pop that crown race on because this crown race has a little slit in it so it's much easier. I'm going to make sure that bottom's out there with the uh, actual cone taper going up, pointed up, and that's going to pretty much slide through the actual deck until the bottom's out. Then we have our top race that's going to be uh, same concept like, like an arrow going down. The pop that in there. Then uh, in this case the actual desk, top dust cover slides on after that. Then you grab your HIC shim, slide it on over the fork, grab your top cap and, well this is built in, but normally you'd have the top cap with the little bolt feeding through it and you'll, same concept, you'll stick it on there, screw that bolt in and as you screw it, screw it in, tighten it, tighten it up, sorry, you uh, start compressing it. So as, like I said, as you tighten it up, it starts getting tighter and tighter and it starts compressing. And then you just want to kind of go in between snug and tight just to uh, ensure that your headset is properly uh, pretty much solid um, and nice and snug. So that's the concept. HRC requires an oversized bar because the fork tube is a standard size fork tube like all, like pretty much most fork tubes out in the market. And then the shim adds an additional uh, diameter to the actual width of the fork tube, um, causing you to require oversized bars to slide over, clamp on well, after you line them up, and then you're ready to ride. I hope this helped you out in terms of understanding HIC compression. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think about this video. Till next time.